All right, everything's back together. Studs are installed, torqued to 140 foot-pounds. So we're ready to fire this thing up and see if we got any leaks. Film the tailpipe. Idle's definitely lower. Get a little heat in it. EGTs are down a ton and idle, probably a hundred degrees or more. Set up for emissions testing. It's just a pinch flat, so I'm gonna say need some time in advance. Let me put the pump on advance and see what difference that makes. Definitely more where it needs to be. It needs that time in advance. This one needs the AFC tuned down. It's got way too much smoke. Okay, so I popped the tamper-proof cover off here and back the aneroid screw off all the way. Really more than I need. The nut's going to hit in here instead on this stud, but be fine. I got this turned to the least fuel setting, so should take as much smoke out of it as I can get. Try it with essentially no boost signal at all to begin with. So even turned all the way down, it's got a plethora of fuel should it need it. I guess uh, let's go for a ride. Oh, Dino Hill, we meet again. On 55.
sorry it's like a hurricane out here today but I think we're ready for another test drive timing's been advanced to where it sounds the way I like it so we're gonna try it there and see how it does wastegate's been capped so we're running whatever boost it'll make which is not blocked so it can still if the drive pressure gets high enough push the gate open uh, relieve itself if it gets too much drive pressure i probably need to do something about this air filter but we'll address that later but for now let's see how this thing sounds and what it looks like to start yeah it still starts looks pretty clean personally no EGT at idle those seven holes are kind of weird like that Okay.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that little tuning session. Uh, right along there, I need to work on getting more low-end boost, try and clean up the smoke a little bit more. But for stock turbo on this truck, I'd say it's doing pretty good for those seven by 11 injectors. The first thing I didn't think I was gonna be able to make them work, but I did a whole bunch of modifications to the AFC to get it tuned down to make it more drivable. And looks like it's doing a lot better now. And power seems to be real good, especially on the low end. It might not be super strong at the top, but more down low is what I'm looking for. And really after the fuel mileage more than anything, rather than power. But the 40 pounds of boost, it's probably making at least some power. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch you later.